welcome to this uh, session uh, entitled, as you see, Archaeology and Interdisciplinarity or and Interdisciplinarity in Archaeology. Stories of a long and diverse journey from the 19th century till nowadays. Uh, we had, at the beginning, we had uh, 17 papers and two posters. Uh, unfortunately, we have uh, four different situations. We had uh, one cancellation in due time uh, from Bish Nupriya Bazak uh, from the University of Calcutta who should present a paper at 7.15 at in the afternoon. And then uh, two absents, but uh, both sent their papers, which we are going to see and uh, to hear. Uh, the first one is from um, Massimo Tarantini, uh, at 4.30 and the other one from, uh, let's see if I see it, from, from, from uh, editor from Vilnius Academy of Art. And uh, we got a last minute uh, change in the schedule as uh, a few hours ago. Um, Luben Devdovsky um, informed her, us that from logistic issues uh, they couldn't come to Barcelona and they uh, even uh, sent any PPT, any paper to be uh, read and present here. So uh, I presume we'll have a lot of time uh, for the discussion slots, especially for the last one uh, in the evening, uh, since two of the absents are, uh, should present their papers uh, precisely uh, after the um, coffee break uh, between uh, 4 and 4.30 in the afternoon. So, uh, saying this, uh, uh, which I should uh, inform that uh, for personal reasons, for um, professional, due to professional, several professional commitments, uh, Isabel Ordieres Diaz uh, couldn't come to Barcelona and to co-coordinate this session with me today. And uh, fortunately, I will have the, uh, the help of Laura Coltefan. Uh, when it will be needed, and it will be, especially uh, doing a not very nice uh, role, playing a not very nice role, uh, that is to show a paper when you will have uh, five minutes uh, last for uh, speaking and two minutes, and then a third paper, the end. Okay. Uh, this session uh, emerged, was um, organized within um, this project, InterArc, uh, Archaeology and Interdisciplinarity, Archaeolo Archaeological and Historical Research in History of Archaeology, uh, led by uh, Professor Margarita Diaz Andreo, and Andreo from ICREA. Everybody knows her very well, especially after yesterday <laughs> performance, great performance. And we uh, would like, um, if you allowed us, we would like very much to dedicate this session uh, to our colleague, to our friend, who was, by the way, a member of InterArc project, uh, Enrique Gonzalves Cravioto, who passed away, unfortunately, um, some months ago, and we really want to dedicate him uh, uh, this uh, session. Well, before we start your presentations, some notes. If you are using smartphone or camera, please make sure that your device is set to silent. And please, 
If a speaker don't want his or her slides photographed, respect that. Extended discussion will be carried out during our three discussion slots. Each speaker will be informed about their remaining five and two minutes. If you're using social media like Twitter, so please remember uh, that uh, make sure to use these uh, hashtags and the one, the specific one for our session. And we'll have the lunch break between uh, one and two o'clock and a coffee break between 4 and 4.30. Uh, very briefly, during this uh, introduction, I just wanted, uh, we wanted uh, to uh, remind that rooted in scientific areas, as diverse as architecture, uh, archaeology was affirmed during the 19th century through collaboration with our other disciplines. On the other hand, archaeology played a fundamental role in the establishment of the fields of, for its instance, conservation and restoration, not only, but also. Meanwhile, it was contemplated in heritage po policy and legisl legislation, contributed to the production of knowledge developed in different supports, uh, including the tourism, cultural tourism, above all. Be bringing together interests, purpose and procedures defined by different actors. Archaeology has been evolving theoretically and methodologically due to new ways of looking at the past. New ways that have been and are being generated by and together to other human and social sciences as well as enhanced and urged by exact and natural sciences. So, this session invites everybody to deal with topics such as archaeology and art sciences, interdisciplinary, interdisciplinarity, reanalysis and reuses of the past, archaeology heritage, preservation and museums, teaching archaeology, archaeology, journalism, mass communication, uh, new platforms, uh, digital pl 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 platforms and, and social nets, archaeology, cultural tourism and sustainable development. Uh, inter interdisciplinarity has come to fill some gaps that high specialization has been causing in the second half of the 20th century. One of the issues that we raised in this session and want to raise even more during this session is to see how much is true and if this has been true. And to understand the possible mechanisms and future trends that other disciplines are opening dramatically or not to archaeological activity. And of course we uh, uh, couldn't uh, forget um, the um, conference, the keynote, uh, which was um, done by Christian Christiansen last year uh, during the EAA at uh, Maastricht, uh, a keynote that he entitled Third Science Revolution in Archaeology. And he um, spoke a lot about the profit or non-profit of the third science revolution in what concerns archaeology and what sort of influences in academic uh, authority, discipline, <coughs> disciplinary power, power and professional relations could cause a scientific-led lead practice. And when we talk about interdisciplinarity, are we really dealing with it? Or mostly of most of the times we are dealing with collaboration, cooperation and or partnership or even with an official, unofficial, unconscious interdisciplinarity. These are some questions we would like very much to, um, to see uh,
to discuss.